developed by Kabi team. So this is the meat entry add-on. So we have different stages for uh, the slaughter process, starting with the first screen where the animal arrives at the gate entry location. So this is the first screen. If I go to SAP, we have the gate entry inward screen here. So we can manage the vendor details from whom we are purchasing this animal, the name of the deliverer, the bell number of this particular gate entry, the entry date, the location, all the details in the item that is big buffalo here for this scenario. We, have, we are purchasing five quantities of this item. All the details of the gate entry we have managed here. This is an optional screen. So this is the entry form for the animal, which is uh, optional. After this gate entry, the next screen is of the larage entry in which we will give or provide the tag number to all the animals which we have received through the gate entry screen. Here we will select the business partner code, the name, the weighing scale number for all these animals the good receipt status for this and the time uh, when we are creating this entry. I purchased five buffaloes. I can see uh, their details here. I can generate the tag number. You can see the allotted tag number. Five different tag numbers has been allotted to these buffaloes. You can see all other details, the slaughter, the height rejection amount, rate deduction if there is any, the buffalo status, whether the meat weight done or still not done, the halal status of this animal, whether these animals are with tag, without tag, all these details, uh, you can see here the quality check status of these animals. So while doing the larage entry, you can generate the tag numbers and then you can add this larage entry in the system for giving or managing the tags for all those animals. Once you have provided these animals with the tag details, the next screen is of issue of halal entry. When we issue these animals tag by tag to the halal entry, then we manage the information in this screen. We give a document number, the meat weight is done or not, what is the tag number which is allocated to this animal? The issue halal done or not? The tag code, the larage doc entry, the item to which this buffalo belongs. All the details which are related to the halal are managed on this screen. After this, we have the meat weight entry. Once the halal process is done, we have an integrated screen here. Uh, this is integrated with the weighing machine, so uh, which records all the details for the meat weight of that animal. So once you go on the screen, you can have the information related to the tag number, the item code to which that animal belongs, the hook weight, the deduction weight, the meat status, GRPO status, QC status, whether it is accepted or rejected under QC, the first weight, second weight, the net weight or the final weight for that particular animal. All the details, what do you measure on your weighing scale directly comes up in SAP on this screen because it is integrated with the weighing scale and the details come up automatically on this screen. Once the details are updated here, you can add the screen and you can have the weight, meat weight details for your animal. After this, the next screen is of meat memo. In this, you can generate the meat memo for the suppliers. And during the meat memo preparation, system will check that all the animals has been assigned to the tag number during their larage entry or not. If they has been assigned with the tag number, then it will allow you to create the meat memo for the supplier. Otherwise, it will restrict you or it will not allow you to create the meat memo for the suppliers. So uh, this was about the slaughter process. After this, we will run the standard production order for SAP Business One. 
in which uh, we will create different production order for or the production cycles for production cycles for different processes we will go through during this slaughter process so we have four different production cycles here we will start with the first cycle i'll go to the standard production order in sap so i will go to the previous one i created for you let me show you that okay so this is uh, this is for buffalo bone and meat so this is a special production order in which we are we are creating a production order for buffalo bone in meat in which i'll show you the relationship map map what we are issuing and what we are receiving during this production process so we are issuing buffalo here for the production process and after uh, we have issued it to the production process we will receive the buffalo bone in meat so this is our first process and also we will receive buffalo offals out of this production process so the final product which will we will receive after this production process will be buffalo offals and buffalo bone in meat so this is a special production order which we have created in sap after this for a few other processes we need to create other production orders in sap so let me show you those also after this we have uh, the disassembly production order for so after this uh, disassembly we will receive boneless meat or offals buffalo offals so we are creating the disassembly order for this i'll again show you the relationship map for this this is a disassembly production order in which we have issued the buffalo bone in meat and what we have received here is multiple items we have received after this disassembly that is top side silver side rump steak these are the multiple items which we have received out of this production order after this uh, we will create one more disassembly form here which is for receiving the buffalo offals so let me show you the production process for disassembly for receiving the buffalo offals i'll just run the relationship map to show you briefly how we have received it so uh, when we will i'll go to the relationship map what we have issued here so we have issued buffalo offals here during this disassembly and what we have received out of the production process we have received kidney liver lung and these parts from the buffalo we have received here during this disassembly process after this the final stage is of rendering in the same way we will uh, do this rendering process uh, through disassembly so let me showcase you the uh, briefly about this document which we have created here so we have seen the gate entry details the larage entry in which we allocate the tag numbers 
in some cases in some exceptional cases we also issue the animal or uh, do the larage entry without the tag numbers so that is also possible in our add on after this uh, we create the issue to halal document after this uh, the meat weight is meat weight document is created and finally after meat weight we can create the meat memo document so these are different screens which i have shown you in sap this was a gate entry inward screen we have the larage entry in which the details for the tag number are generated then we issue uh, then we create the issue to halal document here for creating the issue to halal entry we generate the meat weight which is integrated with our weighing machine and automatically picks up the details from our weighing scale after this we create the meat memo which we want to generate to the supplier so this was our meat memo screen after this we have briefly explained the meat process which starts with the chilling deboning fresh meat segregation first packing blast second packing and final packing all these details are briefly described about the meat process what all byproducts we received during this process we received blood of bull slaughter fat heads and skin after this uh, the next process we received bone and fat after this we have uh, tallow process then finally the poultry feed supplementary so all these uh, processes we go through when we receive the byproducts after this uh, what we showed it you in sap was the production process in which we created two types of production process one was a special production and then it was a disassembly production order in the special production we have created because we have varying weight of the buffalo which we received during our gate entry gate entry process so uh, we create the special production order for to manage this in sap so there were four production order one for bone and meat then we received a boneless meat we received offals then we received uh, we created the production order for rendering so these are also briefly explained here we started with the production order release we issued to the production floor then we created the receipt for receiving all the finished good or the final items products from the production process this was our production process in which we issued and received from production we created the bill of material for buffalo bone and meat so these were the details here so same process we created for the disassembly which uh, you are seeing here right now we created a production order with the released status we issued the buffalo bone and meat and these all different items we received during our receipt from production process out of disassembly so the same process has been repeated for three different items the disassembly production order so the details has been explained in this document here after this if we start with the purchase process we will create the standard purchase request document in sap the purchase quotation the purchase order the good receipt against purchase order the ap invoice or the purchase invoice then you can see these details in the purchasing reports of sap business 1 in the inventory we created the item like i showed you we created one item there as buffalo we can generate barcodes document printing item management and inventory transaction we can do for goods receipt after goods receipt we can create the goods issue inventory transfer request inventory transfer we can have a different price list in the system the pick and pack and inventory reports so uh, from starting from the purchase by managing the inventory for all those items on every level you can have the micro management for the process here you can also manage different opportunities for these details by setting up sales related information you can manage the sales opportunities you can have or generate different reports in sap business one related to that once you have managed the inventory and you have purchased the items the final step is of selling those items from the system 
So our sales cycle can start with the sales quotation. After quotation, we can create the sales order, the delivery document for delivering those, de uh, those items to the customer. We, we can create the AR invoice. We can receive the payment details and then we can view different reports. So uh, we have these details for the finance process, the banking process, which we have in SAP. So this was briefly about the meat add-on, which we have created. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.